Hello, in this video I will go over MX Receive, which is A3J Group's mobile solution for receiving parts and material through IBM Maximo. When you launch MX Receive on your mobile device, you will be routed to the login screen. On the screen, you just need to enter your Maximo URL, username, and password and click on login. Once you log in successfully, you will be routed to the home screen, which displays all your POs. On the home screen, you can scroll down to view more purchase orders. And as you get to the bottom of the list, it will keep loading more until there's no more to load. You scroll back to the top, you'll see a search purchase orders field. In there, you can actually search for purchase order by number. Or you can even click on the barcode icon on the right side, which will launch the camera on your device. And you can actually scan a barcode. and it'll pull up the purchase order based on that barcode. Another way to search for a purchase order is by description name. So if you type in a word like window, MX Receive will look for any purchase order that has the word window in its description name. Uh, for this example, there's only one purchase order with the word window in it. And to clear out the field, you can simply just click on the X button on the right side of the field, which will then display all of your purchase orders uh, once again. Uh, at the top, you'll notice three buttons, PO, description, and order date. Those are your sort buttons. So if you click on each one, it'll sort by PO number, description name, or even order date. To view the details of a purchase order, you simply just need to locate the purchase order you need to look at. Click on it, and you'll be taken to the detail screen of that purchase order where you can see the description name if there is one. PO number, uh, the receipt status, vendor name, order date. And while you're on the detail screen, you can advance to the next purchase order by swiping left on your screen, just like that. Or if you want to go back to a previous purchase order, you can just swipe right on your screen. Another way to go uh, to another purchase order is by clicking on the left or right button at the top right. So if you click on that left arrow button, it'll take you to the previous purchase orders. If you click on the right button, It'll take you to uh, the next purchase orders on the list. There are also two buttons here, one for receive items, other ones for previous receipts. Under receive items, those will be the items that are waiting to be received. And if you had any items that were already received, if you were to click on previous receipts, it would display there. This purchase order doesn't have any just yet, but that list will populate as we go through this. All right, and to receive an item, simply just click on the receive items button. You'll see the items that are ready to be received. Just select the item itself. You'll now see the details of that item, like the description name, uh, the PO line number, the quantity that was ordered, uh, item number, so basic information like that. You do have the option of entering packing slip information, um, which is completely optional, but you could click on there and uh, you know type any text you would want to, or even if there was a barcode on the packing slip, you can click on that barcode button on the right side, which will launch the camera once again, and you can scan uh, the barcode from the packing slip if there were one. Quantity receive is where you would type in the number of items that you have already received. For this example, let's just say that we received three of them. So you change the number to three, click on receive. And you'll get this action required notice that is telling you that the receipt is now waiting inspection, which you would have to go into Maximo itself to uh, complete that uh, action item. Now, if we go back to the pre uh, previous receipts button, you'll see that that item has been received and the status is now waiting inspection, which is what that icon on the left is, is showing you, that red logo with the eyeball. So that is telling you that that item is still waiting inspection. Now, let's say you have more items to receive uh, for the same purchase order. So the same process as before, you go back to receive items, select that same item. Only difference now is that you will see uh, what we received before and also a warning sign telling you that there are unapproved receipts for this line item. And also you need to make sure you go to Maximo and approve them. And also make sure that what you're now approving or now receiving is not the same as what you received before. So same process, you would change the quantity to receive. Let's say this time around we're receiving uh, one item. Let's change that to one. Click receive, we get the same action notice as before telling you to go into Maximo to 
inspect what you received and also to improve it. Click on OK, go back to previous receipts, it'll show you the two items that we did receive. MX Receive does have offline capabilities where it does allow you to receive items while you are offline. So for example, if we were to manually go offline by clicking on the hamburger menu, click go offline. Let's actually go back to the home screen. And we'll pull up that same purchase order we were just on. And let's go to receive items. So we're currently offline. Let's say we want to receive one of the items from that second PO line. So we'll open the PO line and let's change the quantity to receive to let's say two. When you click on receive, it's actually going to push that transaction into a pending transaction. So once you come back online, it will send that information or that transaction back to Maxima once you have a connection. So in order to do that, let's go back online, click on that left button, and let's click on the menu button, and let's click a reconnect. Actually, before we do that, let's go to pending transaction so we can see the pending transaction, which is right here. So the quantity that we're trying to receive of that item is two. And if we reconnect, and go back to pending transaction, we now have the option of processing that transaction since we do have a connection to Maximo now. So we simply just click on that process transactions button and that transaction has now been sent to Maximo. So if we go back into that purchase order since we're now online and we go to previous receipts, you'll see that PO line number two for that second item has been uh, received and that information was sent to Maximo. Now I went into Maximo and I changed the inspection status from waiting inspection to complete for those three items uh, that we received. So if we go back into the purchase order on MX Receive, you'll notice that the receipts is now partial and it's not none anymore. Um, and that's because if you go to previous receipts, you'll notice that the status of those items is in complete status now. And it's also the, the type is now transfer instead of receipt. So if you go back to receive items, You'll notice that we still have more items to receive. So if you wanted to receive more, you can you know, follow the same steps as before. Click on the item, change the quantity you receive, and uh, receive those items. Thank you for watching this video on MX Receive, which is A3J Group's mobile application for receiving items and material in IBM Maxima. For more information, you can go to our website at a3jgroup.com or connect with us on LinkedIn or Twitter. For inquiries, please email info at a3jgroup.com or give us a call at 877 235 4774.